Hi all, welcome to the Real Sweet channel. We're doing a cargo trailer RV conversion. We're making it specifically for uh, hauling our kayaks and other toys. Come on along for the ride. This video explains why we chose this Arise trailer and what we're going to be doing with it. Thanks for watching. Okay, everybody, I just got this cargo trailer home from Valdosta, Georgia. It is an 8.5 by 24. We'll start at the back. It has LED lights and a 4,500 pound drop down trailer back end. It has lips to keep it from dripping down. It has bumpers and handle assist and locks. It also has vents. One right there. It has extremely nice upgraded um, tires and dual 5,000 pound axles. It has an RV style door with a extra locking dead bull all the way around. The special trim package. It's got an extended tongue with a manual jack for now i've got a electric that i'm going to upgrade to it also has a spot for a generator for your bottled gas right there it has the brakes it has a 30 amp service plug with a 60 amp internal service with 18 12 volt outlets and an inverter i'll show that to you there's another vent up there it also has another drop down door here that holds 2,500 pounds. I'll show that to you in a minute. Again, really nice tires. This is gonna be our conversion for hauling the kayaks and going on trips. This is gonna be our cargo trailer conversion. I really like the package I got, we'll go inside. I got it from Arise Trailers. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the back end, fully open. Both ramps have really nice flip down step sides for your cars to roll up on, your toys to roll up on, your kayak to roll up on. Bottom line is this is going to be the base for our cargo trailer conversion. I had to settle for a few things because it was a build that because of COVID, a person couldn't afford to purchase. Um, so I got a deal on it, which you know my motto, we never pay full price for anything. And if we do, we feel like we've been cheated. So we were able to get a really nice conversion package that'll allow us to do a really nice conversion. So. Let's talk about some of the details of this. It comes with the D-rings and the track installed, and it came with two vents, one there and there. It also came with a variety of already mounted wall mounts. You can see them running all the way down through. It came with the covers for the wheel wells, more D-rings as we walk forward. It also came with a 110 system and we'll talk about that for a minute. The 110 system is here. And it gives me a good beginning. It has one spare and several outlets and a 60 amp main service, a 12 volt outlets and a spare. And I've got two spots to put two more breakers if I want. It also has this whole area here is filled with 18 outputs for 12 volts. It has an inverter that charges the 12 volt battery and all the good stuff. It is called a WFCO power converter with distribution panel mounted WF 9960, 122, 40, 50 amp, or 30 amp. Pretty cool. Um, that's going to be the basis for everything we do, really. But right now it's got 110 all the way down the sides, and it also has. These 12 volt LED lights, which you can't really see right now because it's so bright, but 
right here runs off that 12 volt now both of the assist it came with assist for the doors are covered with really nice white covers which is beautiful you can see the 2500 pound door there and they both go up with a finger i'll show that to you um any complaints i had is um i've got you can see the darkness down there i got a little bit of a a leak here because of this being off centered just a little bit they cut this to fit the trim which is okay i'm not worried about that i just need to seal it up and then i need to seal up a little bit in through here um, on that looks like that track seal got a little bit off there but this is going to give us a good start you can see the vents there's two of them one up front and one here that look like that and again the covered it's a long trip home i got caught in those tornadoes so i hope you like this it's going to be our conversion we're going to have a shower up here we're going to have a kitchen up here a bed back there fold up bed there got a bunch of different stuff going on take it nice and slow and show, how, show you how it comes along arise trailers why i chose an arise trailer is because down at the base here down at the very bottom so i can get my foot in there down through here there is a large plate of steel then up here there's a large plate of steel and their side uh, wall construction is really really good so it starts out here with 16 inch on centers it's reinforced top and bottom it also has a cross piece that goes through these and all the electrical wiring is ran above through the walls not underneath the trailer and it is insulated on the walls it's insulated on the ceiling and so we ordered all this stuff you know this is what we we're gonna order and somebody had ordered all this stuff so it came in handy for us because it was already what we wanted to do so we're pretty stoked about it. We're pretty excited about it. It's going to work out good. Um, I've been hauling the kayak in it, and that's the general idea is we had to have room to fit two of these beastie autopilot uh, 136s in here side by side. And so when we're traveling, that would work out. shouldn't let it bang like that that's what happens when you're trying to shoot video mm, crazy time all right let's try this again hand lift so the arise trailers um i've talked to a lot of people in the industry they're really good it's like the cadillac of trailers as far as like for doing landscaping and stuff like that and i've traveled with it a good little bit now and nothing when it's in here even moves so i'm pretty impressed with that like I say, I've got a really good price on it. You can see the lifeline there. Nice lifeline that came with it. Pretty excited. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow the build. Thanks for watching.